Now it's really important that we focus on rotational mobility first because if we don't get the mobility right, this will affect our performance in basically rotational strength and power. We want to be utilizing the correct muscle groups to contribute to this rotational power and not wanting to compensate by using the lower back or using the anterior shoulder muscles. So developing rotational mobility is vital and something that we focus on in every single session down here at the Boxing Science Performance Center. Laying on your side uh, towards the camera and we're gonna do eagles. This is, a session, this is the first exercise that we do every single workout. And we're basically going to rotate the upper body whilst raising the knee at the same time. Eyes follow the hands knee up to 90 degrees and trying to get that shoulder to the floor. In an ideal world, which we don't live in, uh, we want the knee and the shoulder to hit the floor. But most boxers, because they're quite tight through thoracic rotation, won't be able to do this. If anything, I want that back shoulder to hit the floor and this knee just off it. Eyes follow the hands. Arm stays linked with the upper body all the way through and we're gonna perform eight reps on each side. So we're gonna go with the foam roller between knees. This is just to keep you fixed in position because we wanna try and increase upper body rotation. Elbows up high, shoulders pinned back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Get to that end range and hold. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Try and get a little bit more. Go try and get a little bit more range first. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Try and get as much rotation. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, you're getting loads more. Put a lower body separation. This is vital to improve trunk rotation and improve the kinetic chain sequencing. We're gonna start off with a very simple lunge and rotate. You can grab a foam roller, a mini band, a weight plate, or you can just use your hands. We even use a broomstick sometimes. Tom is gonna to lunge out, extend his arms, and then he's gonna rotate over that front leg as much as he can without moving that lower body. He's making sure that his trunk is rotation, uh, rotating. So this Boxing Science logo is on line with the foam roller all the way through the movement. I don't care whether Tom is going to lunge forward. Only just rotate to there, as long as his arms and his body's in sync. What I don't wanna see is his arms just flinging around there Working across his body is almost cheating the movement, not optimizing that upper and lower body separation. Lunge down. So normally we just go over the front leg, but we can also go the other way and challenge rotation that way. Back up, hold that shoulder, rotate. Rotate there. This knee has to stay in here because if it moves like it's been doing on the no when lunge and rotate, I'm being correcting you, that foam roller's gonna drop, yeah. okay? So that's maintaining that knee position. It's separating upper body and lower body. This box here is making sure that you're having to rotate as much as you can. So you don't wanna try and start flexing. Yeah. Well, start extending that lower spine to try and gain that leverage in rotation. Good. Try and keep that arm aligned because it's easy for that to fall in. So rotate, but keep this arm aligned. Good. Good. And then rotate through. Good. Keep rib cage down still. So all that movement's coming all from the upper spine. Hands, wall rotations. Well, that's the name that I've given it anyway. Uh, Tom is going to be in a, a, a quarter squat through the front leg. And then he's gonna put his right, uh, his rear leg into the wall. Uh, just pop back a little bit, Tommy. Yeah, don't wanna to be too far away from the wall. Yeah, and you wanna try and put as much tension through this back leg and the foot through the floor. This is really gonna be working the glute med, creating hip stability whilst rotating that trunk. So knees on line with the toe there, hands on opposite shoulders, Tommy. And we're gonna try and rotate that back and that trunk as much as we can, scooping through whilst keeping this leg stable. You can see Tommy here, you see a little bit of a knee shake here, but that's showing that is really activating, really pushing through the floor here. And we wanna make sure that we're keeping 
the shoulders retracted and we're scooping through, trying to rotate that upper back as much as we can. And the glute med is really having to switch on here. Good, and you're trying to put as much force through this lead leg and as much force through the rear leg as possible. Now this translates well to boxing, especially in like lead hooks or lead uppercuts because the hip has to be nice and stable. And then if the hip isn't as stable, this can affect the amount of kind of stretch shortening cycle effectiveness of the, of the core. It will also affect that kind of what position that we're firing from as well. This is, leaves us to be very tight in here to then be, be able to throw nice, fast and powerful short range shots.